Ohio K Staters. It's been seven seven weeks since we've been following the stay at home orders. And I know it's been tough. We're all in this together. I think it makes it a little easier when we think about everybody dealing with the same sort of sort of issue. But let me offer four reasons for optimism going forward. One is in less than two weeks, we're gonna graduate over 3,000 students here at Kansas State University. That's 3,000 people going into the world to make it a better place. That's our mission. And I think if you look back seven or eight weeks ago, there might have been some who would have doubted we could have done that, but thanks to the great work of faculty and staff, uh, it's happened. Now, I know it's not the kind of graduation that any of us would like to look forward to. There won't be walking across the stage. There won't be this, the in-person celebration with family and friends that we'd all hope for, but it will be graduation, and I think we can be optimistic about that. Second reason to be optimistic is we flatten the curve here in Kansas. We've been very disciplined in following the instructions from our state and local officials, and that curve has flattened. And it leads to the third reason we should be optimistic is that now state and local officials can see a phased approach to a much more normal existence. If we continue to be disciplined, follow their guidance, in about 45 days, we'll have a much more normal existence. That is, in my view, kind of the light at the end of the tunnel that we've been looking for. And then that leads to the, the fourth reason we ought to be optimistic, and that is that Can Kansas State is uh, will be announcing that we anticipate face-to-face uh, -face classes this fall. We're planning for them right now. It'll take continued discipline to get there, but I believe we can do it. So I think those are four pretty good reasons for us to, to be optimistic about our future. And we all are in this together, as I said before, and let's all stay K-State strong.